Hi guys, welcome back to T-Shell Music. Today I'm going to look at Rita Aurora's song, I'll Never Let You Down. It's a pretty cool song, the melody in it is so good. And I looked at a few videos and none of them go through the proper chords that they play when they do acoustic versions. So I thought I'd show you all them and show you all the little riffs and everything like that. Cool, so subscribe and like and check out all the links underneath. And yeah, we'll go close up, I'll show you how to play it. Okay, so the little riff that they play, well in the proper version, it's all the way through the verses and stuff, but I'll show you at the start, so we got So we start with a little slide to the ninth fret of the G string with your first finger and then you're going to bar the B string of So nine of the G Nine of the B, nine of the G. And you're gonna do a little hammer on, pull off, and then ninth of the G again. And you're gonna slide to the fourth fret of the G and the B swing. We've got G, B, G, fourth on the fourth fret. And you're gonna play this little chord here, and you're gonna play the sixth fret of the G and the fifth fret of the B. So G, B, G. Easy as that, so slowly once more. And in the acoustic versions, I play that once at the start and it goes into a chord, so you've got E major. First finger is going to go on the first fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the A, and third finger on the second fret of D. If you don't know that, this song is probably a bit too hard, so check up on your cards. You go E. Then you're going to go to a B major chord. So you buy the second fret and then put your A shape with your third finger on D. Then you go to a C sharp minor chord. C sharp minor, it's by the fourth fret and then play A minor shape. There you go. Stay on your C sharp minor, so you got E, B, C sharp minor, C sharp minor. And then you got A flat minor, so you're bound all the way across the fourth fret and play an E minor underneath. And then an A chord. C-sharp minor, down, down, C-sharp minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, and A-flat minor, down, down, A, down, so it plays that through the verse, and then when it goes to, so you can kind of do that palm mute and acoustic type way. through the choruses and pre chorus And then we've got this kind of... So we start with an A chord. And then E. And then C sharp, B. C sharp minor. So 
the chorus. A little bit. So we start on the sixth fret of the G. Six, eight, nine. So first finger, third finger, pinky. And we use a tipsy finger. Then we go to the B string, go seven. Seven to nine on the B and seven. There we go. Nine, eight on the G. There we go. So eight hammer on to nine. On the G, then seven of B, then nine, eight, and end on the six of the G. So one, two, three. and then you go to the ninth fret of the D, start again. Part, which is quite cool because they get a bit jazzy so you can put your plectrum down and we've got A and then we've got this E major 7 chord so you bar in the 7th fret and then playing an A major 7 shape so the 2nd finger goes on the 8th fret of the G string 3rd finger goes on the 9th fret of the D pinky goes on the 9th fret of the B so you got A 1, 2, 3, 4, E major 7 and we're going to play another jazz chord, so we're going to play a C sharp minor chord. So what you're going to do, your second finger is going to come across and play the ninth fret of the big E, and then you flatten your third finger, so it's playing three in a row, D, G and B, all on the ninth fret. So you got A, one, two, three, four, E major seven, C sharp minor, and then you're going to go to a B, so just bar across the seventh and play E shape underneath. So, Two, three, four, E major seven, C sharp minor, B, and then you're gonna play A flat minor, or G sharp minor, and A. So the whole thing really slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's how to play it. Just strum each card once. One, two. back in two. So that's the end of another lesson. As always, I've gone to the website, so if you want to see loads more lessons, click the subscribe button. And